Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the incubator, uh, grafted cells, how to hatch them, different ways to hatch them. Uh, okay. As you can see right here, today we pulled cells that I grafted six days ago. Nice cells. I use the incubator most of the time. This is a Plano 3600 stowaway and they've already got if you find the right one they're hard to find sometimes they already got the holes in them what I got here I use a JBZ cup and I drill them alternating holes I put one drop of honey in there for the cell above it to eat the honey because the queen when she hatches in the incubator she's got to have to eat within 20 30 minutes or she'll die she starved to death it's the first thing they go to and this we're going to put in the incubator I'll show you how to load this in a minute there's different ways to do it you can make a block like this this is just a stand a two by four block got five eighths holes drilled in them you put a leg on the bottom about three eighths to hold it up then you put eighth inch hardware cloth now how you use this, you would transfer these cells over here just like that. However many you got in there, load it up. You would set this on top of a queenless hive and put you a medium box on top of it to give you your space so it'll fit. Just set them right on top of the frames. These, be these queens will hatch they can't get out because of the hardware cost. You can just turn it up and see which one's hatched. Get your virgin out. And it'll bank queens for virgins for up to two weeks. After two weeks, they're no good. The quicker you can get them out, the better you are. But you can bank them like this up to two weeks. I'm going to shut this camera off and get it where I can get two hands and show you how we load these cells. <clears throat> Now these cells, they were grafted six days ago, counting the day that you graft. Uh, the reason I pull them on day six, it frees up my starter hive. And secondly, they just capped these today. So the queens inside are still in the larva stage. They'll take a little more bumping. After tomorrow, they're real finicky. I mean, you can damage your wings and they, they won't hatch. So they're a little bit easy, but you got to handle them. You don't turn them upside down. You don't bump them. Here's how we look. We get, got this. You would do this at the table. We just pull one of these out. down. That's the honey. Okay, let's start over. We'll pull this out. Take a queen cell, real gentle. And just snap it in the hole I got. Slide it in there. Now when she hatches, this JBZ cup here has got a drop of honey. She's got a place to come down and eat. Nothing to loading one up. Now these uh, cells, 
I put them in the incubator, they'll hatch in 10 days. I'll either put them in a split or a mating nuke before they hatch as a cell the day before they hatch. That way they're not in the hive very long. Or sometimes I just wait till they hatch and turn virgins loose in the splits. Virgins loose in the mini nukes. Works either way. Notice I'm not turning the cells upside down or sideways. Pretty critical you don't at this stage. Got them all loaded. Just shut it up. You may notice there's a colored tax right here in the corner. I've got a rope down that tells me what these queens are out of, so I never lose track of them. We'll go in the house and put them in the incubator. Yeah, okay, we're inside. This is the incubator I use. You set it on 93 degrees. It bumps back and forth from 92 to 93. One, one degree variations. And you see I've got graphs in here. These graphs are hatching today. Actually, there may be some hatched queens in here right now. I took one out this morning. But no, they're not. They're not hatched yet. They're getting ready to. <clears throat> but I, I set these in here just so this is the grass hatch and these are the next oldest next and then I'll put the other grass right beside of it. Didn't bring a tripod in here so I'll put these in here and show you. Here we go. See we've got all the color coded. Tells me what queens are out of. Just a Dixie cup full of water. That's all the uh, humidity they need in here. Ten days. These will be hatched out. And we'll rotate through them. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the channel, uh, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, and you'll get uh, updates when I make a new video. And uh, if you got suggestions for videos, leave it in the comment section. I'll try to make them. Thank you. Have a good day.